What is up, y'all? Coming at you from Ann Orlando. This is Sword Saint Onion. We are in. Did I already say Ann Orlando? <laughs> this is our fire keeper. This is our fire. Let's do this. Oh, one thing I thought of before we continue. So this episode, we are going to be doing the first section of Ann Orlando. Let's see if we can gain another level maybe though before we go on. What do we need? 13, pretty much 14. 13, 9, 7, 9. So let's just use the next biggest one. We have, we some, we have some decent sized souls here. I think that's five, right? Yeah. Okay. That means we probably have, honestly, oh. Oh yeah, we wanted endurance to 20. Um, we probably have 15 actually, still. If that one was five, this is probably Maybe like a 7 and a 10. What do you guys think? Should I pop them and see? Fuck it. There's an 8. And a 10 or a 12? It's going to be 10, or 10 to 12. Ten. So I pop one more level, so that goes to 19. And then we should actually be able to wear gloves um 13 17 let's just try the night gauntlets nope god damn those are 3.5 though those are 2.1 just any pair of gloves? Can I use any pair? So two points of endurance. We're not even looking at able to... There we go. We can wear the black sorcerer stuff. Okay, so let's try and kill some giant sentinel knights. Get some more items. Maybe level up one more time. I'd like to get them one at a time. That would be ideal. Come on, buddy. Take your best shot. Do the shield slam, though, bro. I was inside your guard, man. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> I gotta just get behind him. Yep. So, four hits. We should be able to do this fairly quickly. Um, should I be at full health just to be safe? Might as well. I pressed roll, I know I pressed it. So I can kind of just walk through his legs, almost. Oh boy. Oh man. Can't believe I was able to dodge that second move. That's gonna be good. If I can just dodge and then stab. Yes. So here we have a statue that's kind of significant. We haven't really seen this figure yet. We'll find out more about him in maybe the next episode or the episode after that. Chest is safe. Demon Tight Knight. All right, should we kill him again? For shits and giggles and souls? There is a chance we can get their gear. I 
I think we can get their shield, their halberd. I'm not sure about their armor. to the other side it's kind of tedious but I think we're gonna probably be able to gain another level it's three eh, 40 14 won't be enough but we'll be close all right um, one at a time again please into the center of the arena, sir. What do you got? Oh, shit. Where am I, guys? I got a hit off on him still. So I keep trying to... Because in Elden Ring, you can sprint, like, left and right. So I keep trying to do that. I don't think I need to heal again. I have... Um, I keep trying to sprint left and right, and he'll just dodge. So that can get me killed. If I keep letting that happen, that can get me killed for sure. Take the time to <clears throat> take a look at the statue after we kill this guy. It's different than the one on the other side. Shit. Now I should probably heal. Let's not even risk it, guys. Mm, I think the back swing of that swing of that caught me. That stun shot. Okay, so yes, um, the statue is different. Another figure that we will encounter in the coming episodes. Now, one of these, okay, this one's safe. Twinkling Titanite. We haven't really needed yet, which is kind of awesome. This is a mimic. Now I'm gonna just Lloyd. I'm gonna be Lloyd's talismaning these mimics until we um, run out of Lloyd's talismans. To be honest, so I'm gonna just take this item while he's sleeping. Crystal halberd. Let's read about the crystal halberd. He's not gonna wake up, is he? he just Goes right back to. Long hilted weapon mix. Mixing spear and axe is difficult to handle, requiring both strength and dex. The hybrid halberd has two elementary attacks spear like thrusting and large sweeping swings. However, one false swing and the wielder is left wide open. It's a good weapon. Halberds are. Good. Let's get this guy. He doesn't want to. I think I could probably get around him here. Shield slam. One, two, three, and four. Oh, come on. Four. Now. Here, this will be the first of this kind of um, thing we've come to. Nice little forest path, and then a yellow fog gate, which we have not seen one yet. Sealed by the great Lord's power. 
Okay. So that will be one of four ending areas we have to go to. Well, not one of four. There's also, also a kiln of the first flame and some optional shit we want to do too. So we are getting into the second half here of Dark Souls Remastered. I think Anne Orlando is considered like the halfway point. Oh, cool, we got an extra Estus. I don't know how that happens, but it happens. Um, how many, let's just see how many souls we need to level up. Might be worth it to just go kill one more Sentinel and do that before we lose this 15K. We can do it, all right, that's awesome. Okay, Endurance will be at 20. That's good anyway, just because it's increasing our stamina. It's always good to have extra stamina with a greatsword. Now we have a fourth swing in our combo. I don't know if that was from that last point we just got or we were already able to do that, but that's pretty good. Little things like that, any, th any little bit that'll make your character better. So this is pretty fucking cool. And then, can we see? Yeah, if you notice down there, we got another uh, friend. Whoa. Here we go. Beautiful architecture. Fucking really cool elevator design there. But if you think that elevator design is cool, just wait till the fucking elevator we activate later. Anything back here? Nope. All right. Okay. Yeah, let's see if I can do this. Pretty much, he's pretty much the same as the, um, Bell Tower Gargoyle. I feel like I should be able to kill him. And I think he's a one-time fight. Once he's dead, he's dead. him. Fuck yeah. You dead. We already got that gargoyle. T oh, we got something else from him though. Did we get the helm? Or did we get a third gargoyle tail axe? No, so okay, we got two of those. I think we also got the helm. Let's see. That would be cool to wear. Gargoyle Helm. Helm of the Gargoyle, an enchanted creature that guarded the Bell of Awakening. In the Belfry of the Undead Church, this bronze helm was for mere appearance's sake, as Gargoyle's skin is naturally hard. Little in the way of defense can be expected from it. So I think that means it's fairly light, though. Like, our helm is 4-5... That's 3-5, so we can definitely wear that. That's kind of cool. We'll rock that for a little while. Um, okay, wait. Now, hold on. Because I think we just want to go that way. I don't think we can go this way yet. But check this out. That whole fucking pillar is an elevator. All right, so <laughs> this next part is 
gonna be fun. But not as fun as... I mean, this place just gets increasingly... Like, it's just... Uh, just wait. Um, I'm kind of wondering if the rust in, uh, rusted iron ring would come in handy. We're going to have some un... un um, unbalanced footing coming up. But I think I can just... Just get through it. All right. That was a demon titan I we just got. All right, so you want to come over here and then go up here. Which is kind of tricky in itself to find. Come over here. You roll here. Oh my god, I almost missed that. If you miss this ledge that's dead you're dead all right and then you'll notice the window here is broken we can come in here and we are in a massive hall and we're going to encounter a bunch of these fuckers which we should be able to make quick work of oh quick shot Okay, they do have Estus, which is okay. All right. Oh, so we got to go up to go down, guys. And there are some assholes along the way. No items over there. They're going to start throwing knives at us, of course. Okay, that does very little to us, though. All right, jump off, please. If you get lucky, these guys will just jump off themselves. Okay. You want to try to unlock on, unlock on to them as soon as they fall, because you sometimes there's this weird thing where, like, the camera angle pulls you off. And that can be really frustrating. So you want to knock down the chandelier that was hanging. Because there's an item on it. Okay, there's two more assholes to deal with. And then we're pretty much scot-free. Do your jump attack, buddy. Nope, he's not gonna. This is so dangerous. Oh my god. God. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Have a quick heal. Now, my hands are sweaty as fuck. Let's see how some of these idiots died. Oh, he died before he fell. That's a shame. I want to see a fall death. That the same guy, poor poor bastard. Oh, there we go. Oh man. All right, now chances are good it's gonna happen to us. Now that I just you know had fun at that guy's expense. That's what I was afraid of. If he wants to just stand there. Oh my god. Okay. Now we're pretty much home free. As long as I don't fall before that ladder. So here's another statue of a pretty important character. Uh, that is Guinevere. Lovely lady. Okay, that's good that we made it through there in one go. Wait, okay, so there's that way and there's this way. What's... This is not a boss, don't worry, guys. All right, that's the elevator. So let's see what's over here. The painting guardian. That's what they're called, painting guardians, which will make sense soon as to why they're called Painting Guardians. So 
So that takes us to here, which I'm pretty sure this is just nothing down here. Um, I'm pretty sure. You might be able to safely drop down from here. Some of you might have just caught a glimpse of the painting that the guardians are guarding. We'll see it nice and up close later on. Um, okay, so there's this switch. Does not move. All right. Um, there's another gargoyle friend. Once we activate this, though. Okay, now wait. Is there a reason to go down before we activate it? Let's see. Just to, in the honor of being thorough, we haven't had to really use any Estus or anything, so we're pretty good. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I still have 11 Estus, but if I died now, it's very possible, and then we have a long-ass fucking run back. What the fuck? Oh, he's coming down now? Maybe he'll kill himself. Yeah, come on, buddy. Get in range. There we go. Might as well. We have not used this much sorcery at all, so let's get him as low as we can in honor of not having a fucking long ass run back. Wee! Dark Souls. At least it's kind of cool we found a, an exploit for players if they so choose to want to exploit the stupid gargoyle. And we'll still probably have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him for at least one hit. Or we for sure will, because this isn't going to kill him. Alright. There, that's the first time we've used used up our sorceries. So, okay, let's head back up this stairway. He's gonna fucking kill us. Just to get revenge. Now, we're gonna activate this switch. I think it doesn't matter which way you push it, does it? Oh, fuck. Well, let's push it. Oh, okay, so it's... Because you can push it twice, I'm pretty sure. One. Yeah, and then I can do it again, too. So let's just... Okay, we now have... The shortcut... Across activated. And he should be almost dead, so we're gonna go kill him. That leads back to the bonfire. This leads to progression, but there is like, I think a whole nother level if we go down one more, which actually, I don't know if that would make sense now. I think we, we got the halberd and the shield. Cool. I think so down there. we cannot get to that. We'll go down and check it out. Um, I think we can save that till later. Um, and I also remembered what made makes that Firekeeper hostile. So there's a boss, a secret boss kind of down here. If you kill him, that's what makes the Firekeeper go hostile. So that's actually the last thing we should do here in Ann Orlando. So, okay, we can clear this room just to check it out. We can't do the main thing of the room yet. Because we don't have a specific item, which we get later. Yeah, okay, I remember that kind of progression. Let's heal up. There's lots of painting guardians in here. Someone sees me. Come on. 
definitely worth it to take them one at a time. Just because they're kind of, you know, they're a little tricky. I mean, just in general, in Dark Souls, it's good to... Better, blah, better safe than sorry. That's what we're trying to say. Now, maybe we can get a two for one here. No. Yeah, maybe. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Got two of them. Okay. Moving on. Now I forget which item dropped down. Great magic weapon. That is actually pretty cool. Oh fuck. Cause with that we can make we can enchant our weapon with magic. But I'm kinda honestly thinking like if we want to use that and then the holy weapon enchantment. Um, that might be a route to go. Instead of, like, Spell Slinger, we can go, like, Combat Buff uh, Mage. Which I think makes a lot more sense. Jesus Christ. See, they can kill you. Anything can kill you. Especially me. Okay, so we got a couple things we want to check out. Sorcery, which improves upon magic weapon, high magic augmentation, right hand. At Vinheim Dragon School, only magic swordsmen on special orders are allowed to earn, learn this special, this spell, which grants powerful augmentation to various weapons. So, 15 int requirement, we have that. We might switch our soul arrow from, from soul arrow. I think we should. And then we got the Sword of the Painting Guardians. Curved Sword of Anorlando Painting Guardians. Unique shape with flat tip. The guardians who strike down those who dare threaten the paintings attack in a continuous circular dancing motion. A technique passed down through generations. Okay. So we know their sword techniques are passed down throughout the generations. I believe the painting guardians are all females, it would seem. I don't want to look at the painting yet until we're in a good spot. But there's the painting that they guard. There's one more. And then this is kind of an unfortunate corpse. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, we're out of heels, so we gotta go with Estus. Um, yeah, it's Tarkus's uh, equipment and his shield. So, yeah, that was Tarkus there. Great shield of the mighty knight Tarkus, built of special black iron and even heavier than Knight Berenik's tower shield. So Knight Berenik might be a man, one person, and then those are his knights, those guys with the tower shields and the maces, the great maces. Especially resistant to fire and effective for shield bashing. Right, let's see if we can read his gear now. Helm of Black Iron Tarkus, a knight known for his great strength, built of a special black iron and providing strong defense, notably against fire, but so terribly heavy to be unwieldy to all but Tarkus himself. So yeah, this possibly is Tarkus. Tarkus is the knight who helped us against the Iron Golem. So he made it to Orlando and then he died. And the, it's kind of thought that he may have... So here's the painting, first of all. Beautiful. Um, this will come into play later, but we're just kind of taking a look. It's a bridge to kind of a, like an old rune fort-ish fort -ish type structure. But anyway, so Tarkus, um, it's kind of believed throughout the community that that break in the window we came through was him and then he may have fallen 
while trying to make it across the girders and such. Okay, so now I'm kind of, I know kind of where we are. I'm centered. We don't need to lower this elevator one more yet. We can, but there is something down there. But that is, wait, it's down there, right? I'm pretty sure. Or is it? Oh, no, it's down there. But that is until we're completely done here in Ann Orlando. We won't want to do that. Because like I said, that is a secret hidden boss-ish. Secret-ish. Definitely a boss. Kind of secret. Um, that when you kill them, Ann Orlando changes. And the Firekeeper wants to kill you. And we need that Firekeeper for sure because we're in for... Some bull shit coming up here. And we definitely want the bridge to come back across. I hope the gargoyles don't come back. Yeah, there's always a bonfire message here. Um, we won't understand why until way later in our Dark Souls adventure. But this would be a good spot for a bonfire. That is a fair point. All right, now what do we got? We got two more sentinels here. And we want to head that way first. That way's locked. So I'm tempted to just run past these sentinels, honestly. Let's see how easily we can kill them. If that second one doesn't come over here, I should be okay. Here he comes. Okay, so this should be interesting. We got a two on one. That's a down swing. That would hit me. Yeah, these guys would. Okay, wait. He's backing up. They're both backing up. You running away, buddy? I'm getting under your shield, you fool. Okay, so fighting these guys on the stairs is... Okay, now that, that the shield blocked that time. Oh, fuck. Oh, man, I got flattened. What time are we at? We're at 33 minutes already. Holy shit. Um, hopefully we can make it to the bonfire. Which we probably can. Alright, cool. Sentinel's down. Demon boy over here wants to tangle. Tango. Okay, let's see. Just to see how... Oh, fuck. It's good to see... Two spin attacks to kill the wing demons. Okay, that's good. Gotta go through here though. And is there another sentinel or what's in here? Demons, okay. We got knights. Um I don't know that this door ever opens. Okay. Alright, I really like these demons one at a time. God damn, I don't know how I'm going to make it to the bonfire, actually, to be honest. I might want to go back and level up once. Um, shit. He did his jump attack. Yeah, come on. It's going to be two if I can get a jump attack. This guy might jump off. He tends to jump off. Now this part I only know because I've done... I mean... If you're a Dark Souls player, in your early Dark Souls career, you've done this part like a million times. Fuck, I'm gonna die. Oh, 
fuck's sake. Let's be a little more aggressive. But yeah, anyway, we're not going to kill these guys every time. If I die this time, we're just going to run past them. Because we can. Um, it is possible. Oh, shit. I'd like to... Get through it in one try. Wouldn't that be something, guys? There. Sometimes they do that. That's what I was kind of hoping at least one would do. If we could do this in one try, that would be fucking crazy. Those of you who don't know what I'm talking about are probably like, what in the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Oh no. That's a dead end. So we gotta go down here. There's more demons. I'm gonna run past them because I don't think there's an item or anything over here. Did I just get invaded? Zing! Oh, Zing, you bastard. Where are you? Oh, fuck. Well, we're gonna at least try and fight this invader then. What's up, Zing? Cool, you got sorceries. This should be fun. I don't know how to bow quickly, otherwise I would. There it is. I'll do the bow. Oh, oh see? Well, at least you guys got to see an, a dishonorable prick. Yeah, good job. Good job, Zing. All 20 of my viewers are going to see how much of an asshole you are. So, now we'll get to see how long the run back is, which is, you know, annoying for sure. Usually, you have to wait for the elevator. I think drop down, we're on the elevator. Ah, that's what you get for being honorable, guys. You know, you go for the bow. Want to have a nice duel with someone. And, I mean, I don't think there's any way I was going to kill that guy anyway. He got me with one sorcery. I mean, come on. So now we're going to have to do some running past enemies. Time are we at just to check really quick 38 so we got about 20 minutes to make it to the bonfire otherwise oh, our souls are right there of course so okay this is gonna be really hairy first I gotta get past sentinel oh he got me nice um, I can't really... Oh, I guess I can heal right now. Okay. I really want my souls, guys. There it is. Man, I hate that guy that invaded us. What a prick. Damn it. Alright, well now I can just run past him. There's no reason to even fucking worry. That's the run back that we're probably going to have to make a couple more times. And you guys don't even know why yet. Some of you do. Some of you don't. But you will find out soon enough what is going to kill me. I'm guessing... I mean... <sighs> This is another occasion where I don't know how the fuck I'm going to do this without a shield. Like a great shield you need. This is going to be really frustrating. The boss of this place is going to be really tough without a shield. What did you get? What have you guys gotten me into? Fucker. 
Haha, <laughs> right here. Yeah. Alright, but now... We don't have to worry so much, because we just go here. Oh my god, he got me. Okay, we cannot... S after we get into here to this next... Oh, fuck you. <laughs> okay, we can't really stop after we get past here. Oh, fuck. And if you guys didn't notice, we're already being creamed by Y. Okay, there you go. There they are. The infamous archers of Anor Orlando. So here we go. I got to get around that corner. That's where I have to get. <laughs> so, not this corner. That corner that he's standing on. We have to get up that runway, around over there. Did one fall? No, of course not. Okay. Here I go. I don't want to get in range of this other guy behind us. That's going to fucking suck. Here we go. Here's the death. Kill him. Come on. No! We almost had it, guys. We almost had it. Oh. First trying the Knights of... The archers of Anor Orlando would have been sick, guys. Mm. So that's kind of the trick. You got to kill the one and stay out of range of the arrows of the other. <sighs> We're at 42 minutes. I might be getting the hiccups, which is annoying as fuck, so I apologize ahead of time. No, there, the, that, this hidden boss has like a bonfire down there. Some people say that's closer or whatever, but then you have to do the fucking elevator every time, so I just assume run each time. Ah, God, okay. That's a good sign. That's good. Probably gonna get hit with the lightning. Roll past him. Oh, that was that sucks. That's not good. Nope. Nope. Not good. If I get hit with lightning, I'm fucked. Okay. Okay. And you know what? Actually, I'm gonna do this. All right, is there anything I can do here? Like, I wish I had... I do have a bow, I know, but I, I don't think I have poison arrows. Fucking 16 arrows. Like, I don't think there's anything we can do here, guys, other than just run for it. Maybe the other one won't. Damn it! God damn it. You just gotta be perfect. I... You have to dodge at least one arrow after you get up there. And then you should be in range for him to pull out his fucking sword and shield. Man. 
This is probably the most difficult part of Dark Souls 1 for me. Um, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna struggle with the Four Kings, this, Gwyn. Obviously, without a shield, Gwyn is gonna be a pain in the ass. Which, even though I did use a shield, I, I still was not a parry person. I only would parry on Gwyn, because like. He's ultra weak to being parried, so that'll be interesting too, figuring out how to defeat him. Ah, <sighs> fuck. If we get to the hour mark, we're just gonna have to continue this uh, next episode. It's always good to have a montage of Anne Orlando, Anne Orlando Archer fails. So if I ever do figure out how to like edit videos and shit, I can do a whole, all my deaths. Right now I'd probably be smart to try to heal right here. Just be at full health. Now this time I'm not gonna fucking roll here. I'm just gonna run past this douchebag. Yes, that's what you wanna do. All right, bow buttholes. Probably wait till he stops firing. Although I don't know if it even fucking matters, does it? Yeah, definitely probably wait till he stops firing. Come on. All right, guys, we're going to do it this time. We're a little bit ahead of his count last time. Okay. Oh, no. Fuck. Back off. Fall off. Yes. People, guys, we did it. I'm not even going to go try to mess with the other one. Let's fucking go. Ah. Oh, happiness. Happiness. Nice, beautiful view of a place in Anne Orlando we never get to visit. Much of Anne Orlando we don't get to visit. This is like the main area, though, I guess, where the figureheads would gather. So, okay, we are now inside. And the first place you're going to want to go, I believe, is right here. And guys, I am going to light this bonfire. I'm going to rest. I'm going to end it there. And we are going to continue in Orlando. We're going to start next episode with a talk, a conversation with our old friend, Solaire. So guys, I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for joining me on this one. Like, comment, subscribe if you so choose to. Sword St. Onion, out.